Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's talk with B. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. That's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other... war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. Hey, fat raccoon back there. I see you. It'll be awesome. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Whoa. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Place. Goodbye, possibilities. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh... Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Do they, though? Before I go to Greg, I think I want to see what's over here, because this is where we chased that ghostly figure. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep. Sucks. But it pays. Question. How do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grillman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Hey. What's up, kid? Sniff, sniff? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> is cop, like, a biological thing? You'll never half catch me, half coppa. Uh... I don't know what they're doing up there. Hmm. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. Just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Ah, uh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. R real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah. I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Totally. 
What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh... I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Uh, I'm so upset right now. I know, right? <laughs> See ya. The fuck is going on in Possum Springs? Can I jump on the cop car? Dang it, I can't. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone. Like, a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright. Thank you, May. <sighs> I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this! This right here, this is a report! May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing, any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Ugh. I was running around half the night getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm uh, sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer. And one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Well, we gotta get out there to explore someday. I think it's time for some band practice. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Uh, let's go to band practice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ah, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Alright, new song, Pumpkinhead Guy, here we go. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, this is really hard. Oh my god, what is this? I give up. Holy shit, that was brutal! Oh, wow. That's an extremely hard song. Wow, man, that was, um, yeah, 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 that was bad. Whew, so fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. <sighs> and anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Ah, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books? About it? No. They have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh. How? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind. Let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo! Ghosties! That's the spirit. Was it a pun? That's the spirit? Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets a shot... Wait, what? I think I misread that. After someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin dead. <laughs> well, pumpkin head guy, but I read it as pumpkin dead. So that's about how well I played it. Hey? Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the micro... 
Microfish? Microfish? <laughs> Any idea where the microfish is? <laughs> it's, it's not fish, it's fish. Microfish. 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 Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here, all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Who's Larry? It's a shame I can't jump in the library. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience. Mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean... You should have money then, right? Ideally. Should be, like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my Young Socialists Chatterbox group? Sure. Holy crap. What? What's Charity Barity? <laughs> What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old? All right. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like... Brainwashing you. Instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was talking forever about like being kind to others and like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Planko fix his hovercraft. Uh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Pink Knight Marity. <laughs> Charity Barity. I just don't carity. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger Everwarity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep. Ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Yeah, it's like barely any light up here. Alright, there she is. Cool. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Ugh. Are we friends, Beatrice? 
Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb ass is in charge. Oh, we actually get to use it. Cool. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Okay. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. Um, up the hill leads to the mine, right? The old mine is somewhere up there? An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's ropes snapped, and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this machine makes like a... Uh, I don't know, I guess just like a, a squeaky noise. Like a very heavy, it, so, like it, it sounds like a heavy noise. Like it's a really, really heavy machine that's just very old. Creaking. Sounds kind of like an old boat. Events. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employee of the 25 years. Uh, okay, that's not interesting. Twin Club. Oh, this is important. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the Lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance, as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. What the hell is the Possum Massacre? Okay, so we have a mining... I mean, there's a lot of potential for ghosts here. <laughs> we have an old mining accident. We have an old graveyard housing all the people from mysterious, some sort of mysterious massacre. Opinion line. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Why the hell do people do that? It's super gross. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the, tr the new trend of skirts showing the ankles. I don't think I need to read the rest of that. Ghostly rumors on new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the... Uh, Shriegeist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there, said Newsom. Trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Do they censor God? To put like a little dash or something in instead of the O in God. Mr. Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor, and then only to go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Oh, it's cool. It makes this loud bump noise when you kind of, like, hit the edge. Kind of bounces a bit. Strike lumbers on. Strike is down its 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses have refused to meet with the miners, saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they're only asking the bosses to adhere to safety standards that are already the law. 
The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle, and a Coulson Coke Works union has joined the cause, which has caused an uptick in national press arriving at the site. The women's camp has expanded its services from serving meals to beating any non-union minor from... Beating? I think... I think it's supposed to be bearing. From serving meals to bearing any non-union minor from entering the mines. Or barring, rather. Not bearing. Barring? Beating doesn't make any sense. So far, they have been successful in both ventures. Okay, so miners were striking because of complaints about illegal and unsafe um, conditions. And then, I'm assuming afterwards is when the explosion, whatever thing he happened, and a bunch of people died in the mines. Probably a connection there. Unsafe working conditions. Underground gases afflict many. Uh, talking about gas buildup in the basements, leading to hallucinations. Mm. Preliminary tests indicate that gas is present in the homes, and mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. So it sounds like these gases were perhaps being released by the mining operation? Uh, let's see. Stanley T. Possum statue is officially open to the public, and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking at the Possum Springs of yesteryear in the museum. Enjoy some popcorn, fresh lemonade. Samuel Colson has purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. Local ghost Little Joe added again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has, has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Uh, the strike, which we've already heard about, right? Uh, the idea first arose after the memorial for the 1888 explosion victims. Oh, so this happened after the accident. Uh, oh, hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Miners gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski, that's our family name, to continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all of the promises the bosses had reneged on in the past year. Uh, including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion. A group of 20 miners enter the mines to begin the strike, and 30 more join them before, mo before morning. All work has been stopped at the mine, and the miners are now striking in eight-hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun to bring food and water for the men. The bosses have stated that the mines are safer than they were a year ago, and that there is no need to act in this manner. New, new old store in town center. The old pickaxe hardware store is said to have its grand opening this Saturday. So it looks like Roy... Roy Burge is the one who owns the old pickaxe. Possum Massacre. Okay. What is this? Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. Ah, oh, it was during the strike. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown and the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead, with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle, who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in, and talks finally began, 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and to honor the demands of the miners. 
Holy shit. Taunted by some of the children present. So wait, the National Guard and Strike Breakers opened fire because kids were throwing rocks? What the fuck? Strange but true, a tale of... A tale of teeth. We have a tooth. We have a tooth from our grandfather's... Uh, safe. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur, and punched the miner's leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while others removed all of his teeth with pliers. Oh, Jesus. The teeth were passed out to the miners, and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his, uh, his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather round, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. Holy shit. Yeah, so I guess our grandfather was uh, one of the people in the secret society. Does the tooth have a strange symbol on it, though? I don't remember May saying anything about a strange symbol on it. I mean, it's not like it could be any other tooth, right? Oh yeah, no, it, it doesn't have anything to do with this tale here. About the miners in the secret society. Nope, just a random tooth. Deep Hollow County Mourns. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion has been recovered two days shy of the one-year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring the total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although mine bosses have been informed that gas pockets were present in that section, they elected not to inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. The other three bodies belong to Peter Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter... Uh... Lachtha? Peter Lachtha's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father Littes, Littes, as the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. See. Anything else? I feel like it's probably about it. Oh no, there's more. Pie piracy. Please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. <laughs> the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. The Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Randolph Stafford, owner of the Bell's Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of Coulson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, Railroad ma uh, Mag... How do you pronounce that? Railroad Magnate? Magnet? I know what it means, but I'm not sure if it's pronounced different from, like, you know, a magnet you put on your fridge. Uh, prominent business owner Harrison... Schreigeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. New elementary school. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Edgar Stutter. 
Studer reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near Shade Gap. Mr. Studer has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We cannot agree more with this... Uh, with this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk that if you're interested in seeing an albino creature, to stop by Sudi's Barbershop for a peek at an, at an albino raccoon. For certain, this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Oh, I think I... Shit, I guess I need to use each piece of text for us to comment about it. Hey, 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 ghost spotted. Historical society. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Hmm, this is interesting, but, uh, yeah, not exactly about a ghost. So we'll just highlight the important ones. No ghost to be found here. Ooh, look. Scoot so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. It's actually pretty good. This one? No ghost. That's true. It's, it feels relevant, but I guess it doesn't directly mention a ghost. Same with, like, the massacre. Wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. Oh my god. Spectral happenings. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Oh, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gotta check it out, though. Go nuts. It's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Okay, well that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Uh, yeah. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go.